In the early days, Visual K adapted a lot of music and clothing styles from glam metal and rock artists. Like David Bowie, Twisted Sister, Motley Crue, Kiss, or Hanoi Rock. In addition to glam music, this movement is also inspired by the nuances of punk gothic rock that was thick with that had mushroomed in the late 1980s and early 1990s. However, over the years, Visual K also plays a lot of music that is not affiliated with rock, such as pop, electronic, or combines folk elements in it. The term Visual K originated from one of the slogans of X Japan. A Japanese metal megaband with its tagline, Psychedelic Violence Crime of Visual Shock, which was seen on the cover of their second studio album Blue Blood, 1989. Seichiki Hoshiko, an editor and founder of SHOXX magazine, a magazine that contains a lot of Visual K artists then explained, that at that time, his music and performance style was still termed Okesho K, However, it is considered quite cheap because their music is not only about the style of makeup, but much more substantial than just the style of makeup. Then Seichi termed it as Visual Shock K. Then this term developed in society by shortening it as Visual K and VK. Seichi also considers that Visual K itself is typical of Japan with its music and all its visual aspects. But one very important thing is Hyde's contribution. Who was the main guitarist of X Japan who had a huge influence on the Visual K movement? Hyde is considered very influential not only for contemporary Japanese musicians, but also for his generation. X Japan is considered to be one of the founders of Visual K. A movement among Japanese musicians comparable to Western glam, and subsequently influenced many new bands. When they disbanded, Hyde was the only member to keep up appearances and had the most successful solo career. The first band with a record of achieving notable success was Dead End whose independent album Deadline, 1986, sold more than 20,000 copies. The debut album of the giant label Ghost of Romance, 1987, released by Victor Entertainment reached number 14 on the Oricon Albums chart. That same year, Buck Tick released their major debut, Sexual XXXXX, through the same record label. Dead End even released two albums by the American label Metal Blade Records. From 1988 to 1989 Buck Tick and X Japan began to have mainstream success which continues to this day. Buck Tick's single, Just One More Kiss, entered number 6 on the Oricon singles chart. While their studio albums Seventh Heaven, 1988, and Taboo, 1989, reached number three and one respectively and were the first Japanese rock band to hold a concert in Tokyo Dome. X Japan's first album, Vanishing Vision, which was released independently, reached number 19 in 1988, making them the first indie band to appear on the main Oricon albums chart. Their second and major debut album Blue Blood, 1989, reached number 6 and has sold 712,000 copies. Their third and best-selling album Jealous was released in 1991, topped the charts, and sold more than 1 million copies. The uniqueness of Visual K music in the 90s has been defined by the popular band Luna C, originally produced by leader X Japan Yoshiki and Kuroyume. While Luna C has a melodic and decadent approach to their music, Kuroyume is known for his aggressive, punk-like groove. Dur and Grey also appeared, 
a Visual K band whose achievements were very influential on the door to Visual K music in Japan and the world which was originally produced by Yoshiki. Present with a very interesting characteristic at that time, which still sticks with the distinctive Araguro concept. The second transitional era began in 1993 with the presence of bands that caught the attention of mainstream music, namely Lark and Seal, Glay, and Malice Miser. Commercially at that time, the bands were not exactly successful, but in terms of popularity in music, they were very popular at that time, which influenced their respective styles to reduce the intensity of the style to be a little simpler to get a wider reach. At that time Visual K music also emphasized the quality of their music more than fashion, so that many new styles emerged. Nagoya is one of the cities that has become the center of the Visual K movement with a minimalist style. Call it Silver Rose, Kuroyume, and Laputa, which was started by some fans as the creators of Nagoya K, which started moving in the early 1990s. The late 1990s saw a very dark period in the popularity of Visual K. One of the biggest factors was Hyde's death after X-Japan decided to disband at the end of 1997. Luna C went on hiatus for one year in 1997 before disbanding in 2000. Gact, who was then frontman of the band Malice Miser, decided to leave, and the death of Kami, the drummer of, Malice Miser. Lark and Seal, who at that time was known as part of this movement, gradually reduced the intensity of the force and created a little distance with this movement. Which Tetsuya and Hyde themselves explained that they did not explain at first, as a visual K-band. However, more closely followed the new wave band which was also on the rise at the time. This is also reinforced by the statement of Steve McClure, a journalist from Billboard who said that Hyde's death was the end of an era, which finally today handed over the torch to the next generation. What will we discuss next in that Neo-Visual K era? There are also many bands that have sprung up but have not been able to meet financial expectations. So many companies that have closed down and made Visual K that have been enjoyed by the mainstream society have started to retreat, and return to Guerrilla Underground.